Well, hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Dan, and today I'm taking you out to shoot some landscape photography. Now, I'm only bringing two lenses with me today, which is going to be my wide angle lens, and I'm also going to bring with me my trusty 85mm lens, just in case I want to try and isolate any of my subjects. Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy my content, and um, yeah, if you want to learn a bit more about photography or you're interested in my vlogs, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But on that note, let's get on with the video. Hi guys and girls, welcome to the channel. I said my name's Dan and today I brought you back up to Cadridris, the giant's chair. Now one of the reasons why I brought you back here today is because the awesome colours of Staten has come through and I want to try and emphasise on some of that colour and some of that detail before we lose it all. Now guys and girls, we've come across my first waterfall on my way up to Cadridris. Now with the, with the amount of rain we've had, we've got quite a nice nice flow to this waterfall. Now I'm sorry if I'm speaking up, it's going to say it's rather loud. So um, I'm shooting this in portrait mode, so I can emphasise on the full length of this waterfall. If I shoot the landscape, I'm only going to take a section of it basically. So shooting the portrait, I can bring in the full thing and shoot this about a quarter of a second in long exposure. I want to try and emphasise on some of that detail with the water cascading over those rocks. Now I'm not sure where, what's it like where you are at the moment, but in mid Wales, Everything seems so green at the moment, you know. We're still waiting for those awesome colours to come through. But I'm going to get a shot and I'll share the outcome with you guys. Now basically I've just set a two second timer on the camera. I have brought my remote trigger as well, which I'll probably use a bit later on. Now yes, I'm going to say quarter of a second basically, no more than that. Try to shoot for F11, keep it nice and sharp and I'll share the outcome with you guys. Now guys, I've made it through the worst part of coming up to Cadridris, and that is through the Minnell Path, which is through the woodland and up numerous amounts of rocks, which can really, really tire you out. So now I've got over that part, let's come with the main aspect of photography. Now, I've come across part of this stream, river, which is part of the waterfall, which I captured earlier on. Now again, it's quite ferocious, there's quite a lot of power to it. I don't want to be shooting this for more than a second, maybe a quarter of a second, half a second. Try and see what kind of results you come up with. But I'll share the result with you. Now what I want to try and do is use these foreground rocks to bring you some detail and some structure towards my shot. And some bracken in the background, some of this dead bracken, which is changing from green to brown to give it the, the shot some kind of colour. So let me get the shot and I'll share the outcome.
Now, as I'm on my way up to Cadre Driss, I'm actually standing on Cadre Driss, but to get to Cadre, I mean, we're about half an hour away. But what I want to do, see these sweeping lines behind me and the structure of that cloud and the sky with the blue behind it. And we've got all this bracken, which is going brown. And I've got this rock in front of me. In fact, let me just bend you down a bit. Well, no, don't say bend you down, Dan. Bloody hell, no. Sounds stupid. Right. I've got this rock, which is basically sitting in my foreground. So what I want to do is I want to use this, fore this foreground rock to emphasize on the background of the mountains, etc., in the blue sky. So let me get the shot. I'm going to shoot this about F11, nice fast, fast shot speed, and I'll share the outcome with you guys. Now I am shooting wide angle today because at the end of the day, wide angle, well, on a mountainscape is ideal, okay? You shoot on whatever lens you feel comfortable, okay? That wind starts to pick up, so basically, I'm trying to hurry up towards the top of the peak because at the end of the day, I don't want to lose my light when I get to the top. If I make it all the way to the top and I've got no light, then, yeah, it's a bit of a problem. So, but let's get the shot and let's move on. Marley, I'll do it, darling. Come on, over here. Now the next shot I want to focus on guys is basically sweeping behind the mountain behind me. Let me move you around. Move you around. See the way the mountain is sweeping around there? Now I want to try and get a shot basically so it kind of blends in so really you see the diagonals running down from the side of the mountains. Well let's try and emphasize some of that detail and pick up the picture. Move you back. By the way guys this is a very 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 tough hike so I will get there. I will get there. So. Um, let's get some pictures and let's move on. Don't you hate it when you're doing landscape photography? When you get, get out to location and you think, nah, I didn't, I didn't want to bring them a 70 by 200 because of the weight, okay? And uh, I don't really fancy hiking for two and a half hours with too much weight and too much baggage. And I've, I've got out like halfway up the mountain, three quarters of the way up the mountain, and um, yeah, I could do with it. I could do with my 70 by 200 right now, but um, I'll make do with what I've got. I've got the 85 in the wide angle, so let's get a few more shots and emphasize on some of this bracket, some of this. Ooh, that was close. That was close. I was going to say, I nearly lost my camera, but um, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> let's move on. Now, there, right behind me, guys, is Cadrodris. Now, Cadrodris is the giant's chair or the giant's seat as it pans around the mountain, see? Now, I was going to put my drone in the air, but it's rather windy out here. But what I want, what I want to try and do is emphasize on all three elements, the mountain, the lake, and the rocks below me here, and try and bring all those elements together to try an interesting story about my landscape photography. Now, if you can't hear me, I'll try and put the pictures up at the end, okay? Well, let's get on with the video. see I'm sitting by well I'm sitting on a slate bridge and I'm surrounded by streams either side but what I want to do is I want to bring in this dead tree the mountain see the light I'm losing it I'm losing the light so I've got to be quick um, and it's starting to rain so I'm gonna get this couple of shots now and share the outcome with you guys I don't really want to shoot this long exposure because what I want to do is I want to really concentrate on the detail and the flow of this water okay so I want to bring the dead tree in the background the mist off the mountain at the top and yeah some of the structure some of the bracken either side so I'll get the shot and I'll share the outcome with you guys
and get one either this side as well. Get a variation of different shots either side. And this rain is coming down. And I'm beginning to lose the light, which is over there. So I'm gonna be leaving it there, guys. I'm gonna share the picture with you. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog this week. I'll be back out in a couple of days when it's not raining and it's not blowing a gale. But I hope you found that interesting. If you have, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And um, if you want to see me again, drop that subscribe button as well. That helps me out more than anything on YouTube. If you want to leave me a comment, leave it down below and I'll try and get back to as many people as I can before the next video. But on that note, I'll be leaving it there. But thanks for watching. Take care.